What is going on everyone? This is Sarah coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today we're going to be looking at part one of our six part series of breaking down the MLB Pipeline's top 100 prospects heading into the 2021 season. And we're going to start with the AL East. So MLB Pipelines released their top 100 prospect late ranking here recently on Friday, January 29th. So we decided, you know, we'll just look at each team individually. Last time I did this, I went into complete detail. I looked at each team's top 10 prospects. This time, we're just going to glance at the top 100 prospects in each organization. So we'll go division by division here. We'll start with the Baltimore Orioles, who have five. And the number two ranked catcher, Adley Richmond, who was ranked fourth last year. So we're not going to discuss everybody's ranking last year, but using him as an example... The two in front of him means he's the second rank today. And then, of course, you have his position, his name, and then in parentheses is going to be what rank he was last year. So then we have the 27th ranked right-hand pitcher, Grayson Rodriguez. 69th ranked left-hand pitcher, Heaston Kirchstad, who was just drafted this past season. The 70th ranked left-hand pitcher, D.L. Hall. And the 77th outfielder, first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. So Baltimore probably is going to see Richmond and possibly Mount Castle both debut and no longer be classified as rookies during the 2021 campaign. Time will tell. The other three probably will remain in the minors. D.L. Hall possibly will debut as well and get his prospect status revoked in 2021. Again, time will tell. Hopefully we have a season start on time this year. And then we have Boston. Boston only has three top 100 prospects. In 44th ranked first baseman Tristan Casa, 49th ranked shortstop second baseman Jeter Downs, and 93rd ranked third baseman first baseman Bobby Dahlbeck. Now, all three of these guys are power hitters, and of course, it's always a little awkward when two of the guys basically play the same position because Dahlbeck is a first baseman by trade who has been kind of moved to third base for the time being because he's less of a defensive liability. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they do. Dahlbeck did make his debut during the 2020 season, so he's probably going to graduate from the list shortly. Uh, don't be shocked if all three of these guys graduate in 2021, but we'll see again what happens this year. Boston, far cry from what they had a few years back, but still have some talented building blocks to work with. Then we have the New York Yankees, who only have two top 100 prospects, but the first one is 32nd ranked outfielder Jason Dominguez, who surprisingly to me jumped from 54 to 32. Now, if you don't know who Jason Dominguez is, he's a 17 year old who they signed as an international free agent. And this guy has been compared for, to numerous players from Mickey Mantle to Mike Trout. So we have yet to see him play professional baseball in the United States. It's gonna be very interesting. And then of course we have the 88th ranked right hand pitcher, Clark Schmidt. Now, Dominguez is years away from being triple a ready even clark schmidt will probably graduate in 2021 i don't think he'll start the season in the majors for the yankees but i think he will be in that rotation come june at the latest assuming the season starts on time which it looks like it will so clark schmidt probably will graduate he did debut in 2020 and he showed some potential next we have the tampa bay rays who have despite being al champs eight top 100 prospects of course, they have the number one prospect in shortstop Juan de Franco, who will more likely than not graduate in 2021. They also have the 19th ranked right-hand pitcher, Luis Patino, who they acquired via trade. They have the 34th ranked outfielder who seemed to come out of nowhere during the playoffs, Randy Arozarena. Now, he was actually not ranked this past, uh, during the 2020 rankings. He came out of nowhere. He's just dominated. And, uh... The Rays are hoping that he can stay as dominant as he was. He will probably graduate soon. And then we have the 50th ranked second baseman shortstop, Videl Brujan, 72nd ranked left-hand pitcher, Brendan McKay, 84th ranked left-handed pitcher, Shane McCl McClanahan, 85th ranked second baseman shortstop, Xavier Evan Edwards, and the 90th ranked right-hand pitcher, Shane Baz. Now, I mentioned Baz in a previous video, the Chris Archer trade breakdown. Oh, poor Pittsburgh. Uh, Mc McKay, just to point him out, he has really fallen in recent years. He will graduate his prospects as this year, but he does not look that good. Lastly, we have the Toronto Blue Jays, and Toronto has four top 100 prospects. 
They have the 10th ranked right-hand pitcher, Nate Pearson, who again made his debut in 2020. We'll see how he does in 2021. He's probably going to graduate. Then we have the 22nd ranked shortstop outfielder, Austin Martin, 46th ranked shortstop, Jordan Gro Grossans, and 87th right-handed pitcher, Simeon Woods Richardson. Now, Austin Martin did get drafted this past year. He is probably going to be a fast climber through the minors. We honestly could see him debut in 2022 at the end of the season, if not 2023. He has a lot of potential. If you're Toronto, you have to be happy with him. Uh, we'll see what position he goes to. But the big name, of course, is Pearson. Pearson really looks good. Toronto's hoping he can be the next big name for them. But yeah, that is the top 100 prospects for each of the AL East teams. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good rest of your day.